Welcome to this new resource, Today Not Tomorrow. There's a great song that has the line, what will be, will be. But does the future have to be the same as the past? Could we imagine a different future for the church where children and young people are seen more as part of the whole church community? Could that be a dream for the future? Or actually, could it be today? good church should look like a family. Uh, it's odd people in it and there's also sort of like the people that you look up to and there's then the people that sort of like you laugh and have a joke around with. No church should be too serious yet not serious enough. We should, a good church should have a range of different music types from hymns to modern day versions of Christian worship and no church should be too different. All churches should have the same sort of, we believe in God, we worship God, that's the end. There should be no difference between it. And good church will always put God first. I think what a church should look like is people that are friendly, people that are proud of being a Christian, and people that are happy to do things for you and happy to help you. A uh, good church looks like um, it's always, you could be accepted no matter who you are and uh, it's just like a big family yeah, and it's based around God, Jesus and the Bible. I think a good church looks like a whole diversity of races, cultures and backgrounds where everyone loves each other, welcomes each other and there's no gossiping and backstabbing and things like that. A good church should kind of should know what they're talking about and not just think about to start going confused and think about different things. Um, I think a church should um, share the good news of Jesus and all around the world and everybody should know and they're a, a good church should have like a family, we should be there for each other and we should like each other and um, we should also, a good church should also help other people, maybe in different churches, maybe, at, maybe if you know somebody at home who is feeling quite down and you tell them about the good news of Jesus. A good church is like where uh, you can do jobs and how big or small you are. Um, a good church is a family with people that we can go to when we have problems but also help us, uh, we can share our happiness with. A good church has lots of activities for children and adults and also has people who are proud to be Christians. I think a good church um, is a church that is full of love and is, based, is biblically based and is centred around Jesus Christ and also is a church that accepts everyone of every age, race, culture, background, just pretty much everyone. What's a vision? Yeah, these same children and many others are leaving church when they become young adults. Over the past few years, the Baptist Union, along with a working group, have been looking at how we disciple children and young people. Much of what we have discovered is that children and young people, through great work within churches, have been entertained and also given a set of rules, but they have not discovered discipleship and faith for themselves and sadly have moved away and are no longer part of our communities. We celebrate the thousands of people who give up time to care for and teach our children and young people in our churches week by week. We recognise the love that they have for these children and young people. Yet young people are sadly still leaving the church. What are we doing wrong? How can we help children and young people to own faith, to become disciples? There's an African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. And we believe it takes the whole church community 
to nurture and disciple faith within children and young people. TNT, Today Not Tomorrow, is about discipling children in an intergenerational context. Empowering children and young people to celebrate faith, to minister and be integral to the church community equally, not at the expense of pushing others out. This new resource comes in six sections which we are encouraging churches to work through to discover how they can themselves become intergenerational communities. The first thing we challenge churches to do is to stop commenting on how it was in the good old days and maybe not to wait for the future to start doing something different but to start today to start encouraging young missionary disciples in the church today. All age worship. Do you question whether it's just another fad or the latest idea that doesn't seem to work for you? And then in our churches we have child dedication or infant presentation. You have that lovely moment where the baby is up in front of the church and the church is gooing over it. But the church makes huge promises about the responsibilities it has to nurture the faith of that child, to accept it into its community. Does the church truly grasp the responsibility and opportunities they have before them? Discipleship. Do you wonder if it is really possible to nurture equip and help children and young people to grow as followers of Jesus. And then we have the E word, evangelism. Do you find that children and young people just don't seem to want to know about Jesus? How do we communicate the great news about Jesus and the gospel to this generation? Resourcing. Does your church do a lot of talking but fail to provide the support, the resources and the funds to enable ministry amongst children and young people to truly flourish? A few moments ago we heard what children thought a good church was like and how it should be. The TNT resource has a dream for a church that is a church where people of all ages worship together where discipleship happens by all and for all. Where people of any age are considered worthy of celebrating faith. Where knowing Jesus and having a relationship with him is far more important than academic knowledge. Where our relationship with God counts more than our ability to eloquently express it or to be able to find the book of Nahum without looking in the index. Where children and young people are praying and ministering alongside those of more mature years and being prayed for and nurtured by the whole church community. Where people love God and love others above all things. Now through the TNT resource we would encourage you to imagine what good would look like in your church context where people of all ages are disciples and followers of Jesus. Why not then make this a reality today, not tomorrow? We hope that you find this resource will help you to engage and discover what God wants for your church, your community, today, not tomorrow.